Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an applesauce cake from the 1910s. It's Lunch with Lisa. Hi, and welcome to my Decade series where I'm taking you through the decades, one meal at a time. During the 1910s, what was going on? Towards the end of it was a world war. So food was rationed. So for this recipe, I looked it up in this grandma's wartime kitchen book. This was a book written for World War II recipes, but it has an applesauce cake in it that they probably used in World War I as well. I did look up applesauce recipes online and a lot of them used a lot more sugar and flour, of course, because today we can add more to it since those items aren't rationed. I liked this recipe because it did use very little of the sugar and the flour and the fat. For this recipe, you're gonna need one and three quarter cups unsifted all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a cup of packed light brown sugar, a third of a cup of vegetable shortening or softened butter, or you can mix it up, two large eggs, one and one third cups unsweetened applesauce, and a half of a cup of dark seedless raisins. Of course, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you're gonna grease two eight inch round baking pans. Now, I wasn't sure if I needed to do two because I have nine inch baking pans. So I went ahead and greased both of them just in case. Then you're going to stir together your flour, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, nutmeg, and cloves. Then in another bowl, I used my stand mixer. You're gonna to beat together brown sugar and your butter or shortening until it's light and fluffy. Then you're gonna beat in your two eggs and then you're gonna just fold in your applesauce, then fold in your flour until it's just combined and then fold in your raisins to kind of finish it off. Don't overfold this because then it could get tough. You don't want a tough cake. Then you're gonna pour this into your greased pans. I was gonna do both, but then I realized this is gonna be really like this cake will be really thin. <laughs> so I was gonna use a nine by nine square pan, but I ended up with my nine inch rounds. So I just dumped them all into one of the rounds and I just washed it, it's fine. <laughs> Make sure you spread out your mixture evenly. I like to kind of press it down a little in the center so that it doesn't puff up too much. Bake this for 25 to 30 minutes or until you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean and then cool it in your pan for about five minutes and then flip it over onto a wire rack. Don't drop it and let it cool completely. And then I went ahead and whipped up a little buttercream frosting and I'll leave that recipe down below. It's super easy to do in my stand mixer. Even if you have a hand mill, oh, if you have a handheld mixer, you might get tired, but it'll be fine. This makes 10 servings and let me tell you, it was kind of awkward trying to cut 10 pieces from a cake, but I did it, did it. Make sure you let it cool completely before you put your buttercream frosting on. And this sat overnight in my cool house, so I haven't had any yet. I'm excited to try it. Oh. Especially with the buttercream frosting. It's pretty, pretty moist. I'm, I'm excited, let's, let's, let's go. Mm. I'm gonna try it without the buttercream. That is a good cake. Buttercream frosting, not needed, but definitely delicious. <laughs> I mean, come on, let them eat cake. <laughs> that would be a great dessert to serve with Thanksgiving. So good. Or with Christmas. It's very spicy, very earthy, very, very good for the fall. Love it. Try it out. Let me know if you do and what you think. Or if anyone in your family makes applesauce cake still to this day, I'd love to know. And I'd love to see what, what they put in it. Join me next time as we eat our way through 1920. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And I'm gonna finish this cake. Oh, it's so good. It's lunch with Lisa.